Hey friends, Coach Vanji here. Um, many of you know I have dealt with long-term shoulder. I have a, an impinged nerve in my shoulder and it's mainly from uh, when I was nursing my kids. Uh, so shoulder work is super important to me and most people benefit from it because most of us are hunched over all day. So this is a bit of a shoulder therapy, shoulder strengthening, shoulder mobility kind of workout. It can be done daily, every other day, fantastic. Um, but let's get going. You can do this from a kneeling position. You could sit or you could stand. We're starting with a scarecrow combo. We're gonna work for 45 seconds. It looks like this, arms up. You're gonna reach it up, pull it down, and all the way to the bottom. So bring it up 90 degrees, rotate, press up, return trip. Good, breathe. This is not a heart pounding kind of workout. This is a life giving restorative workout. All right. This is so important for our shoulders, for our posture, for those that deal with headaches or migraines. This kind of work is excellent for you. Bringing support to that shoulder neck region. Breathing. Good, coming into a kneeling position, or again, you could potentially do this standing, okay? You're going to start with your hand facing down. Palm inward, you're gonna reach all the way up. Flip your palm outward, pressing it all the way back. Now just return trip, reverse it. Coming up, palm faces your body, and coming in. I'm just gonna back up a bit so you can see that a little bit better. Palm faces inward, flip, the grip all the way back. Reverse. Good. Some people call this the shoulder carnelian move. It's just a big, big arm circle. But for anyone that has shoulder issues, you know this, there's gonna be sticky points here. Rest, excellent. Switch out your sides. Again, if it's uncomfortable to be kneeling, pop to a stand or a seated position. Okay, roll the shoulders down and back. Set your core strong, palm faces in. Here we go, reach it up. Flip the grip, reach all the way back. Just reverse trip. Slow and controlled. You're pretty much matching my speed. It's intentional. Good. Breathing. Palm faces in, about 15 seconds here, palm up, flip it, trying to hold your hips steady and your core engaged, good, breathing, and relax, amazing, next we're going to do a platter flip, again you could be kneeling, sitting, standing, you pick. Roll the shoulders down and back, arms out as if you're holding two platters, and you're gonna rotate one as far as you can, and then the other. Basically, you're trying to flip your grip. Good, try to keep the torso movement to a minimum. It's gonna move some. You're gonna see that shoulder is gonna come forward. Good. Shoulders get tired already. These are hard. This is hard work for me, but important work. Again, if you have shoulder pain, doing this kind of work is preventative. It's trying to restore strength to the shoulder girl. Good. And rest. Shake out those arms. Coming to an all uh, four point kind of contact here, you're going to do a kneeling shoulder roll. So this one takes a bit of brain work. You're gonna basically try to roll the shoulders. Different than a cat cow, okay? Roll the shoulders. I'm going in a backwards motion. I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna see if I can go forwards. Really a little bit trippy. If it bothers your wrist, roll a fist. Now I'm going backwards again. I pause, reverse. Reverse. <laughs> Good. Kneeling shoulder rolls. This is a lot of scapular engagement. That's our shoulder blades. 
important in that shoulder component. Good, excellent. We're gonna go, go into a puppy flow. So you're gonna come sit back into child's pose, plant your forearms on the ground. Okay, and this is position A. You're gonna basically sit back into an extended child's pose and then come back to your forearms. Okay, just big reach. And then forearms just flow through that nice and easy. Breathing, getting a big stretch through that upper back, lat shoulders. Good. Breathe. And rest. Good, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Amazing. Next, we're doing a thread through or thread the needle. Okay, you're gonna reach up to this guy with one arm, drop your shoulder right to the floor, reach through. Take a second and then come back up, same side, keep repeating. Big reach through, drop the shoulder right to the mat and come back through. Keep going. I'm gonna turn so you can see what I'm doing from the front. Dropping that shoulder right down. Again, you can hold it for about a second in each position. You're hitting that lower back a little bit here too. So good for those shoulders, opening through the chest. Breathing. Three, two, one, and rest. Amazing, shake it out. Give those wrists a break. Give them a little movement, a little roller coaster. Let's do the other side. Ready? Let's go. Reach it up and then thread it through. Good. Sun is beautifully pouring in through my window today. It's glorious. I hope where you are at that the sun is shining. <laughs> and if it's not, just pretend. Yes, however, make you break a sweat. <laughs> Big reach, thread it through. Breathing in through nose, out through mouth. Three, two, one, and rest. Amazing, we're gonna do a shoulder drop. So this requires you to take a kneeling stance, arms reaching out, and you're gonna drop one shoulder, so this arm bends, and then you're just gonna slinky back and forth. Okay, so kind of a play with your width of your hands a little bit till you find where you can kind of go to 90 degrees in one arm while the other one's straight, shoulder to the ground. Breathing. Inhale, exhale. This is a glorious stretch through that chest, shoulder area. Woo. Looking good. About 10 seconds here. Three, two, one. Rest, amazing. We're gonna go to a reverse tabletop to finish off. Option one, fingers point towards your bum and you would walk them back and just bend the elbows and straighten. That's option one. Option two, plant the feet. And you're gonna lift the hips of reverse tabletop, drop it down. You do you, whatever level's best. So that full tabletop, that reverse tabletop, or just a nice little dip here and extend. Get a pretty aggressive stretch right through the front part of that shoulder. It's an opposite posture to what we spend most of the day in. Good. If this bothers your wrist though, just pause, shake it out. With practice, you can rebuild some strength there. You can also instead put a set of dumbbells behind you and hold on to straighten the wrist. That might feel a bit better too. Three, two, one, and rest. You're gonna come to seated position here real quick. <sighs> Love that. Take a deep breath in, breathe out. <sighs> 
You're gonna drop your head to one side, just reaching those fingertips out towards the floor. Back to the middle, take a deep breath in and breathe out. Drop your head to the other side. Take a deep breath in, breathe out. Drop your chin down in the middle. Just gently rock left to right. Good, look straight ahead, take a deep breath in. Breathe out. From here, you're gonna gently rotate all the way to one side as, best, as far as you can. Nice little torso twist in the other side. Breathing. Back to the middle, last breath in. Take a deep breath, breathe out. Give yourself a pat on the back. You are all done guys, well done. If you like that, you could do it again. You can hit like, subscribe, or share it with a friend. Take care guys.